Is money evil? Is money evil? Before we answer that, it would be best to define our terms. Let's start with evil. There are three behavior choices that most would define as evil. Hurting or killing another willfully without their express consent, fully informed. Willfully taking or damaging another's things. Anything you don't own 100% without consent of the owners would be considered evil. And defrauding another, getting them to do something without being fully informed to their loss and your gain is surely seen as evil. What else can we add to this list? I have looked a long while and found nothing that is called evil that is not in one or more of these categories. And I have found nothing outside of these things that is not a matter of taste. And interestingly, these define the three laws of ethics. They are natural law expressed in terms of the three things not to do. So let's ask the question this way. Does money break the three laws of ethics? Well, that would be like asking if a hammer breaks the three laws. <laughs> it's in how it is used that will define whether the user is evil, chooses unethical behavior. A hammer is a handy tool, but can be used unethically. So maybe the better question is, does the use of money lead to unethical behavior choices? We need now to define money. At the very root, money is anything we might use to exchange for something we want or need. Money can be a good or service. Money can be anything representational. We have used shells, beads, metals, papers, and now electronic bits. Basically, we are accounting for our energy added into a community slash system to ensure no one skates on the efforts of others. But is there an issue that arises with the practice of exchanging to survive, accounting for our energy added? Indeed, there is. If we humans were all ethical, the practice of accounting for our energy would be straightforward. It would flow easily. But of course, we are not all ethical. There is a genetic group of us, 1% across the board from all races, that are psychopaths. Psychopaths, as a rule, will do anything at all for power over others. Money offers power over others, and so... We see murder, torture, theft, destruction, sabotage, duping, lying, and other unethical behavior choices made to gain money, and done without remorse. We therefore see the bulk of the wealth in the hands of psychopaths, who then use that power against us, building psychopathic systems around us. We see things like the crown bug invasion, a pure fiction, made into a thing through the media they own. Then their corporations most call governments pass laws based on the false data, getting us to comply with senseless and wicked things. Like a jab that is designed for who knows what specifically. Like locking ourselves in our homes and avoiding others. Like doing away with cash and moving all transactions to a form they control 100%. Like moving the perceived power from the, quote, government, unquote, corporations to a single world power. And now we can answer the question, does the use of money lead to unethical behavior choices with a resounding yes? But what can we do? We need to account for our energy to know who deserves things, right? I say wrong. The whole notion of people deserving things came from a time when every hand was needed to get necessary work done, a time of scarcity. If you did not add your fair share of energy, you did not deserve a share of the harvest. And so, you needed a product to exchange to prove your input. But even in the days of barter and trade, psychopaths would manage to control needed things, 
water or seed or land or any other thing that gave them power. When representational tokens came into use, it was all the easier for them to gain control, amassing the most and thereby having the most power. Money equals power equals energy. Money accounts for our energy added. And today, through technology, this energy accounting is an archaic practice. The buggy whip companies became archaic, going out of business when the car arose. The tool was no longer needed. And free energy technologies, along with robotics, have made accounting for our energy quite pointless and money a bane. We no longer need money, just as we no longer need buggy whips. Because money promotes the psychopaths to power and because it is their foundational tool, they buy every other thing they use with their money. They have hidden all free energy tech. They suppress it and put out the idea that it is impossible. And yet, we swim in a sea of energy the electrogravitomagnetic field that pervades the universe, the ether. And we have technology that can draw on this field. We can access all the energy we can use. See my video, Electrogravitics, Gravity Control, and Energy from the Ether. So we no longer need to account for our energy and are now slaves to the psychopaths at the top with most of the jobs out there doing little but overall moving our planet's wealth upwards to the psychopaths at the top. These jobs do not add needed things at all. Cashiers, sales, accounting, advertising, marketing, collections, casinos, insurance, Wall Street, and banking all serve the movement of wealth upward. If society collapsed, we would not see much of these jobs, and of the jobs we would see, most can be done by robot. So, rather than collapsing society, we could add free energy and robots, freeing us all to do what we love to do, to live as richly as we choose. In fact, removing money returns to us what was stolen from us, our planet. Through trusts, they have taken our wealth and they use it against us. They now own every major corporation to include all the governments on our planet, all of which are corporations for profit. They hire us, choose who will fill a slave job, and give us slave tokens so that we can worry about food, clothing, and shelter for our masters. And today, we have vastly more of us than are needed for necessary work, infrastructure, transportation, manufacturing of needed things. The psychopath's solution to this is UBI, which thrills them, for then they can control us by the threat of no slave tokens if we do not comply. They can see where every penny we spend goes. They can cut us off if we don't tow their line and we are beholden to them for any increase. A freedom solution would be to get free energy tech out in the open and put down that dangerous tool we no longer need. And return our wealth to us. No, money itself is not evil, but it surely promotes unethical behaviors, as well as putting psychopaths in control. To do things like fabricating a crown bug invasion, injecting it through their media, and calling for absurdities like social distancing, wearing masks that do nothing but stifle breathing, staying indoors, teaching our children that humans are to be avoided, getting a jab they constructed that admittedly changes our DNA, likely contains tracking, likely sterilizes us, and surely contains toxins in abundance. All the while telling us lies to get us to consent to this. This is completely unethical, doing all this to our loss of freedom and their gain of control. And what we are teaching 
if ever there was a time to say, think of the children, it's now. So, exchanging to survive leads to promotion of psychopaths who will do things highly unethical, or evil as most call it. No, money itself is not evil, but the ones who wind up with the most of the money surely are. But how can we remove its use? By adding free energy, which we need to work on getting out in the open. We are post-scarcity, though they maintain artificial scarcity for profit and control, and we can look to the very few societies that lived in abundance to get a perspective of what abundance creates in a society. In these societies who had all they needed for the taking, no accounting for energy added arose. The currencies used were social, thanks, appreciation, reputation, fame, and so on. The accounting for these currencies happens in the hearts and minds. These were the things that motivated them. And in this milieu, the people were helpful, happy, playful, loving, giving, joyful, cooperative, and caring. These were societies that arose on island paradises and lasted into the early 20th century. And then, the Western world came in, usurped their land, and forced the accounting for energy added onto them. The societies fell apart. Today there is little joy left. We slave for the tokens, socially distance, shame others for not following the rules, as insane as the rules are, struggling to keep our crowndoms, ourselves and possessions, together with families broken and disintegrated, just as the psychopaths planned for. If you want a vastly better place here on our planet for yourself and the ones you care about, please share what I offer. See the playlist I offer on Utoilet. I also have my work on BitChute, Odyssey slash Library, Brand New Tube, and a number of other video hosting sites. What can you do besides sharing? If you can, experiment with free energy and share successes freely. Do not notify them by filing for a patent. You might choose to help create the web infrastructure, open source, to use for communicating and ethically solving for any problems that arise. And you can, regardless of anything else, withdraw your consent from the psychopathic legal-slash-governmental system and... Stand sovereign on ethical ground protecting yourself and others from bullies, whether in a costume or not. When enough of us build better aggregately, we will be vastly more joyful than now. Written, voiced, and produced by Amaterasu Solar, Shill for Humanity Love Always Humanity will win.